I need to cloak myself here.
Go. Soon.
under Edwin's boots. For that is where you will be with the Here's Fulke. I'd give a murder to any man for enough silver. I've a livelihood to keep. I had silver before I was caged, and I will again. You need only give me time. I must go swim wet. It's a crying shame, your story. But a few supplies ain't... It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up. Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wan eye, stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold, wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake coils. Look, he yowls. Poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. I should not be seen in this area. Did he still die? Yas didn't even go that far in. What was that? Prepare yourself. The soldiers are close. That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike. Cut them down, Ava! Ha! <laughs> Let's rip the dog off! No! No! 
leather!
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanis, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the god? Or could he be a god himself? I don't know. I want to deny it, but I've... I, I've seen things in my life. Visions. Prophecies. It's difficult to explain. Heed your visions. Always. You may have been touched by true knowledge. Sigurd is only a man. The son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. Ugh! <laughs> 